Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw simple shapes in Adobe Photoshop. Um, we have a set of shapes here under toolbar. Uh, we have rectangle, rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, line, and custom shapes. Uh, let's start from the beginning. I'm going to pick up the rectangle tool. Uh, we're going to immediately take a look at the options bar. We have shape, I have green for fill and red for stroke. So if I click and drag, I'm going to be dra drawing a rectangle like this. Now what happened here is immediately the properties window popped up. That's showing me that I can actually modify the colors here and the width and um, the height and also I can modify the roundness of the corners. Um, we have the linked link icon pressed here so all these four corners are linked meaning if I change this one for instance to 30 pixels and press enter all four corners are going to be changed to a rounded for a 30 pixel corner uh, I'm going to go back to this tool again uh, to the rectangle tool and this time I would like to draw a perfect square so first and foremost I'm going to change this to zero to change all these four corners and then I'm gonna click and drag and then hold shift anytime you hold shift it gives you a perfect square okay let's head to layers panel I'm gonna um, select these two and drag them to the garbage bin Okay, now we're going to head here. I al already covered the rounded rectangle tool, so let's move on to ellipse tool. Uh, the same story happens here. Uh, you can click and drag and then change the colors to whatever color you want. Change the thickness of the stroke as well. And also, if I use the same tool but click and drag and hold shift, it actually gives me a perfect circle. So the same rule applies when it comes to the modifier key shift. Okay, I deleted these as well. We're gonna head to polygon tool. With the polygon tool, we have another option appeared here. Let's take a look at it. We have sides. At this point, I have three for sides, uh, meaning if I click and drag, I will be drawing triangles. Uh, why not we change this one to 6 and press OK. Um, at this point, for for some reason, when I click and drag, it's just drawing a very, very small shape. And I'm glad this happened right now because you can take a look at it and see how we can fix it. Um, any of these shapes um, that are selected on the toolbar, if you double click on the shape itself, it will give you this um, window and we can actually change the width and height here for in for some reason I have um, 1.94 pixels which is a very very tiny shape and that's why we could not see those shapes let's change this one to 50 by 50 and also we have access to the sides number of the sides here as well I'm just gonna leave them as 6 the way they are so there you go now we have that and next time when you go over the polygon tool um, and sorry you double click it again um, we take a look at this option now we can do actually star with um, polygon tool as well again I'm going to change this one this time to 100 by 100 and let's change the number of the sides to 10 and now we do have a star um, the line tool is super simple uh, all you need to do is to click and drag to draw a line. Again, uh, you can modify this on options bar and properties. We also do have custom shapes. So if I choose custom shapes, what we got here on options bar, we have a series of default shapes in Adobe Photoshop. Yeah, some people might not be able to see all these shapes that I have. Um, to fix that issue you can click on this gear icon and then go to all uh, 
All right, let's say, for instance, I want to use or draw this eight notes, this music note. I just click it there and click and drag here. So again, let's have another one. I'm going to choose this hand and then again click and drag. So there you have it. All these shapes um, create separate layers, which you can choose the layer, then go to the properties panel to modify keep in mind you have to be on a shape tool in order to see uh, some of these options appear here on the options bar and then you can modify these you can play around with them and have fun I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching